everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new my name is Liz and today's reading is very special because I went grocery shopping and I bought these cupcakes that had these little cute festive light bulbs on them but I got the idea to do a reading about what is coming in to light you up to cheer you up uh, something uplifting over the next few weeks to months so I left it sort of open so whenever you click this this is a timeless reading uh, hopefully you resonate with what comes up today. So let me know what you think. I'm really excited. We're going to dive right in, but I do want to show you each of the groups first. So as you can see, we've got four uh, groups here. So we've got group one with the yellow bulb. We've got group two with blue. Group three is green. And group four is red. So definitely feel free to choose more than one, but try to see which one is really pulling you in and, and start there. And as always, have fun with my readings. I really hope there is a message for you today, but you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, have fun with it. And uh, yeah, we did some charms, letters, and numbers. So yeah, we're going to jump in because I'm excited to hear what you think. We'll start with group one. Group one, if you chose the yellow light, then this is your message about what is coming in to light you up. And uh, this could just be, you know, something that is cheerful, uh, a good thing that happens, something good coming in, essentially. So let's find out what you have. So you chose the group ears wide open. Okay, so. This one immediately made me think of good news specifically. Okay, so good news. Whatever's coming in for you is relating to something you're hearing. Uh, for some of you, not all necessarily, but for a few of you, this is something you've been waiting for. Uh, I just feel that because of, of ears wide open. It's like you're, you're waiting to hear back about this. So it could be something you've, you know, something to do with a job maybe, or waiting to hear back about a job. I'm sensing for a few of you, you're waiting to hear back about travel. So let's see here. Okay, page of wands. Definitely, this feels like good news. Page of wands. This feels like an announcement, good news. It could be a family member that has some good news. Six of pentacles. Eight of cups. Ace of swords. Yeah, I'm really feeling the news. Just, I mean, just based on your card alone. But with ace, ace of swords too. Page of Wands. You know what's kind of interesting is I was feeling possible travel and I'm sort of getting that from this particular Eight of Cups, which isn't always what the Eight of, Cup mean, Eight of Cups mean. It just typically means, you know, maybe closing one chapter, leaving something that is no longer fulfilling. But this Eight of Cups, like I'm really getting the feeling of a journey. And even with the bridge here, it's like, Maybe what you're hearing is allowing you to move forward. This could be about a new job. I don't know, I was just really feeling travel. I love the gift giving here with Six of Pentacles. Let's get some Oracle cards here. This is sort of just going to be like a little mini reading because I'm trying, <laughs> trying to challenge myself to not like, sometimes I don't jump on and do a reading because I tend to overthink myself into not doing anything. So I'm, I just, I felt like doing this reading. I felt inspired. So that's what I'm trying to do. So enthusiasm. Yeah. This really feels like good news. Like, right, right away, just with the card that you got. Good news. Enthusiasm. A celebration with the balloons. Life is always brighter when you wake up each day with a spirit of enthusiasm. This feels like a really fun message. I'm wondering if someone, <clears throat> I'm getting like the gift giving too though. Let's get one of these. Group, group one. The balloons just, I keep going back to gift giving because you do have this beautiful six of pentacles here and you really get that feeling from this. I wonder if the travel I'm picking up on is somebody coming home or you're going to see someone. And even if it's not happening like this month, it could be that very soon, you know, you or someone else is traveling to see you. Group one, what's happening? Flow. So, 
says, meet Zafir. She is flexible, flowing, and gentle like a light wind. She intuitively responds to the rhythms of the world around her. When a door opens, she just walks through, easy as a breeze. When a door closes, she circles, eddies, and finds a window to slip silently through. Hmm. Okay, maybe this news for a few of you with your Eight of Cups is allowing you to sort of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like easily, easily transition through something. Even with the bridge there, and even the rabbit, like I'm getting so much from the imagery here, but it feels like you're able to sort of easily move over something, move over an obstacle even. It says she blooms with the spring and knows how to let go with the fall. She is change and she welcomes change. Her strength comes not through resistance, but through perfect flow like a river sculpted in the rocks, finding and making the space to keep moving. So whatever this news is, whatever you're hearing is, is, is sort of a new beginning for you. It's giving you this enthusiastic way forward. Okay, and the bridge, I keep looking at that bridge. It feels like you're able to go with the flow with the situation, okay? And maybe this is part of what you're hearing with the ears wide open. Maybe you're hearing like a solution or something that's allowing you to move forward. This feels like clarity, news, information coming in, helpful information. Hmm. Just want to get a little bit more info here and then we'll get you a few charms. Group one. I like clarification on the six of pentacles, please. Okay. Five of pentacles and the death card. Yeah, this is like the end of a period of like something's coming in for you now where there wasn't the, like whatever this represents for you, right? Uh, for each of you, it's going to be different. Like, just as an example, for one of you, it could have been that you were out of creative ideas or something like that. Like you really wanted to be creative with a business. So this could be, you know, that is starting to shift. More ideas are coming in. Like some, more is coming to you here. More is coming to you so that you can move on. You can move forward. I see you sort of... Uh, I just heard trimming a tree because the tree is there, but, but yeah, kind of like that with the Ace of Swords. I'm imagining you like with your Eight of Cups, you're able to start fresh with something. My stomach's growling. I guess this could be summarized as whatever this is, is giving you a burst of enthusiasm and a way through a particular obstacle. It's increasing the flow. So where there was once a blockage, there's no longer a blockage, which was a bit of a theme in a reading I did recently, the December predictions, I think it was. We had um, information about a blockage getting lifted. This could be an offer. Things are being brought back into balance. Nine of Wands. Yeah, the hardest part of this is, is over. The hardest part of the situation is over. Six of Swords. Heart, yeah, for sure. Okay, there's confirmation. So the, hard, the hardest part of this situation is over. What's coming in for you is good news or information that's allowing you to move forward. This could be a job, it could be a relationship. For some of you, I'm definitely getting a business. This is removing a blockage. Like I said, an example, uh, removing a creative block possibly. Something's coming in where you were looking for something. You felt like, I mean, the five of pentacles can, can really, it just represents lack. It feels like we're missing something. We're searching for something. So that's what you're finding and it's allowing you to move forward. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's get you a few charms here. And what's so fun about this reading, I'm getting a lot of gift giving. So for a few of you, maybe this change too is allowing things. Okay, this is an additional thing that's coming in. I, and I keep getting travel for, for some reason, but this change that's happening it sort of feels like an opportunity to rest. 
you know, flow six of swords, it's allowing you to just sort of, um, the flow is easier, like it's less turbulent, it's less bumpy, you're able to just sort of relax and be excited about something. Hmm. Yeah, so this is definitely news related. You also have the number 33, so that could be important to you. Let's get a few charms here. the star. Ooh. Okay, some of you, this exciting news could be news of an engagement. I don't want to spoil any surprises, but a few of you could be getting proposed to. Because you've got two charms about marriage here, or possible proposals or commitment, not necessarily marriage, but just commitment. So if you chose group one, it feels like sort of a, a few different fun things coming in, but the overall theme is news that's allowing you to move forward, news that's allowing you to put something in the past. It's an improvement. It's a fresh outlook or an idea. You're able to go with the flow. The waters aren't as challenging now. The worst of this uh, journey is behind you. News, okay, yeah, your message in a bottle. This is news. I love the little, uh, ooh, the little controller here because this is sort of like you're in control again of something. The star to healing. Someone wrote the name of this in the comments I couldn't remember the name of it and it's already escaping me but but yeah I can't remember the name but it's making me think of uh counting blessings like I'm thinking of counting calculations so I'm thinking of like more blessings coming in because you've got this theme I mean you've got that you had the five of when I was asking about like what this is what the six of pentacles represents you've got the uh six of pentacles but it was the five of pentacles as clarif clarification so something's getting added. Beauty. I love that. Beauty is just making me think of, of appreciation. I just imagined you, a few of you going to look at Christmas lights or just enjoying, enjoying the decor. And I think too, because of flow, like because of there's this feeling of like, okay, the worst of this Thing is over I'm able to move forward it's like maybe you're appreciating something a little bit differently I'm seeing music and celebration I keep getting I feel like there's something missing maybe that's because you have I mean your whole your group specifically is about news so maybe there's a little bit that isn't revealing itself so that it stays exciting news but the whole theme is movement forward Enthusiasm, new opportunities, definite improvements. So I wonder, because I'm seeing like a party, that was sort of what I noticed from your Six of Pentacles. You've got the balloons here, and now you've got the music too. So there's a party, maybe an engagement party, something to celebrate for sure. Interesting. Wow, well, group one, I have to say, if you chose the yellow light bulb, this one seems very special. It really does. I'm excited to see what the other groups get, of course, but yours has to do with good news or information coming in that's allowing you to, to overcome an obstacle, move forward. It's bringing in abundance. It's adding something in. An improvement. Things are flowing a little bit easier. So ears wide open. So yeah, stay tuned for that, whatever that is. And definitely, um, you know, when this happens, come back and let me know. Um, you don't have to tell me the specifics, but I love to read the comments. Like, let me know when this happens. And I really hope it does. So we will see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, do you want some letters and numbers? Here, <laughs> let me get you some of those. I'm trying to do more, um, you know, more readings where I just jump on. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do those. Uh, 
They might not be as long with like the numbers and letters, but let's get some. <clears throat> okay, you've got one, six, and nine. Messages about good news coming in. That's so exciting. Something you're hearing, information. <clears throat> Got the word sweet. Got the word blue. They don't always spell things that connect necessarily. It, just sort of some fun, fun additional information, but have fun with it. Usually it's initials, things like that. So <clears throat> names sometimes. Sometimes there's different uh, words in different languages too. So yeah, very fun. I'm really happy with what we have here. Let me know what you think and we will see you next time. Two, if you chose the blue light, then this is your message about what's coming in, maybe good news or just something that's happening that's going to light you up and make you feel good. So let's find out what this might be. Okay, so yes, you got the tender embrace group. So immediately we're going to get lots of info, info here and of course charms and uh, letters, numbers. But this is just a clue about what this might be. Immediately, elephants make me think of family. So tender embrace. I feel like this has something to do with family or this could also be, I might get a love deck too. But this could also be like uh, hearing from somebody or getting to see someone that you didn't know if you'd get to see. This could have to do with romantic love, like meeting someone, but there's definitely a feeling of connection here. So let's see what the tarot cards have to add to this. You've got two of wands, two of cups. Wow. Eight of wands, ever exciting. And the moon, okay. Very emotional. This is very, very emotional. The moon is a very emotional card too. Okay, let's get to you some oracle cards and then we'll dive in. And this is just going to be a little bit of a shorter reading today. I just, I was telling group one, I'm trying to be a little bit more spontaneous like when I started my channel because, you know, I tend to overthink myself into not, not even doing anything sometimes. Um, so I'm just trying to jump on. So today I felt creative. I felt like doing a reading, so I hopped on. So let's see what's happening. Let's get some more clarification. Group two. What's going on here? What is this tender embrace bringing in? Dreams. Ooh. Ooh, I love that with the moon. So dreams are an expression of collective experiences combined with messages from the spirit world. So this is something you could likely be dreaming about, or this has a connection to your dreams. Not even specifically literal dreams. It could be something like a dream, like a goal or a vision maybe connection with that goal or vision. For a few of you, it might not even be a person. I'm really feeling connection like with another person, just with what we have here. Two of Cups, uh, the emotion with the moon, of course, your, your theme here. Even Two of Wands, like for some of you, this could be even meeting someone, you know, that you have an instant connection with, an instant spark with. The Two of Wands is really exciting in a reading about love or a connection because it's just mutual spark. And then you've got this sort of reciprocal emotional energy too. So this, I have the summary of this basically. We've got one more deck, but this is this is connect connection, okay? So what's lighting you up in the next few weeks, months, whenever this is coming in is connection. And because this is a general reading, the theme will be there, but it'll be different for each of you. For some of you, it could be meeting somebody that you have an instant spark with and you feel that connection with you feel that closeness. And and then for a few of you, this could be family. So getting to see a family member. 
I just imagine one of you getting to meet a baby. So maybe someone had a baby? Hmm, that's sort of specific. Are some of you having a baby maybe? Hmm. I'm getting a lot today about travel too. So that could also be part, part of what's happening for a few of you, travel, movement, connection. This feels like you're getting closer, like uh, with the Eight of Wands, it's like you're moving towards somebody because even look at this image here with the hearts, you're moving closer to somebody. So whether that's more symbolic as in moving closer to someone emotionally, you know, passionate connection, or it's actually physically moving to be closer to someone. So either travel or someone could be moving to see you. And then I am getting a little bit about a baby for some reason. A baby, getting to meet a baby. Group two, what is this news? What is this good thing that's coming in? Okay, so much about intuition. You've got the moon, dreams. So meet ghost kitten. She is the light within us that helps us guide us through our life. She is always beckoning us to enter our inner world, to dig deep and meet her there. If you are quiet, you can hear her whispering to you, perhaps about a creative project or the person you should reach out to or even leaving a stifling job. Okay, that's really insightful because that sort of summarizes what all the three categories that this could be. So a creative project, moving closer to something that you want to do listening to your intuition to get you closer to a specific goal or dream. And it also mentions a person you should reach out to. So some of you are reaching out to someone, making that contact, or they're reaching out to you possibly as well. And then, or leaving a stifling job. So that could also be partially, that could be a, a, in addition to those first two messages, like you could be watching this and all three could apply. You could be moving closer to your goal. You could be moving closer to somebody. And then also moving away from maybe what, you know, doesn't feel right. Because I feel like that makes sense, right? You're moving closer to what does feel good in this reading. So that could definitely mean you're moving farther from something that isn't, isn't for you anymore. I feel like groups one and two are slightly connected. Okay, so play with what makes her whispers louder and clearer for you. Maybe it's meditation or sleeping enough. So you've got lots about sleep here, so I'll go more into that in just a minute. Or taking a shower. So uh, this is calling for, you know, quiet moments to listen to your intuition. You've got a lot of that here with, of course, the moon and dream. So I feel like part of what's happening here is you're getting a lot of intu intuitive messages. And uh, this could even be, uh, for a few of you, somebody who... Uh, is no longer with you connecting to you through through dreams and through messages this is really your mate your theme card is about embrace so it's closeness whether it's closer to your goals closer to a person i think that's a good way to look at it so experiment with the following your intuition will notice what magic unfolds so a large part of your reading today is following your intuition about what you want to move closer towards so i really love that dreams. Okay, and it mentions sleep specifically. So with the moon, dreams, and this card, maybe some of you are getting better sleep too. That could just be a little bit of an additional message. Um, or it could even just be saying like, pay attention to your sleep, okay, because that could even help um, with what's going on, you know, just getting better rest, getting better sleep. I noticed uh, last night, actually, my room is a mess. There's laundry everywhere. There's like, pieces of paper. Uh, there's like seven cups. Remember the movie Signs? The little girl who has all the cups, got cups all over the house. So my point is I need to go in and clean my bedroom. I need to change the sheets. I need to make it cozy. So that could just be an additional message for, for that to be mentioned specifically. You know, why not? So better sleep uh, could help with this too. It could also help with just, um, just feeling restful. Feeling restful could help with ideas flowing. It could help with relationships. Like you might, you might just need some good sleep too. I don't think that's like the main message today. You know, I don't think your group is just about getting better sleep, but I think it's part of it. I think it's part of it. Tender embrace. So 
Let's get your charms. But to summarize your cards, this is you. This is movement closer to what you're feeling called to. Relationship-wise, you could be meeting someone. A relationship could just be strengthening. Uh, the spark, you could be feeling the spark with someone. You could be reuniting with a family member, okay? Uh, you could be planning to reunite with a family member. You know, a family member could call and say, hey, we've decided last minute to come visit, you know? But the theme, what to take away from this reading is closeness, getting to see someone. And this really makes me feel like you're missing this person. You've been missing them. Okay, so let's get some charms, letters, and numbers. numbers you've got 11 9 5 7 and 6 making me think you're hearing from someone like to and from letter or something like that uh, have fun with the letters of course you know sometimes they spell things sometimes they don't look for names initials maybe locations okay you've got s j a i t e f u o t r or n r e let's get it got another J, you've got an O, you've got a K, a C, and an M. I hope I didn't miss any, but yeah, look for initials. Okay, let's get some charms. feeling reunion for a lot of you. So you've got another you've got an eight here. Okay, travel. Picking up on a lot of travel today. Someone reaching out to you with the hand. There's a theme today for sure of like something you've been waiting for because you've got the clock here. So timing is a factor here. The sun is making me think of the sun card, which is confirming. Some of you, there's something about a baby for a few of you. Like, just as an example, maybe a family or um, maybe a family member or friend had a baby and you haven't gotten to meet them yet, right? So this could be you're finally getting to meet that baby because there's something coming through about meeting a baby. Not everyone's going to resonate with every specific thing about, you know, what we get, but your major theme is tender embrace, so connection movement closer to someone it's definitely feeling like someone's like you're connecting and it's been a while like i'm seeing a hug like a hug you haven't hugged this person <laughs> you know what i just imagined home alone when the family gets home you know kevin kevin's been through everything he's been through and uh you know the mom walks through the door that's the kind of energy here It's definitely something uh, that you're going to feel very happy about with the sunflower. This is a charm of optimism and confidence too. Some of you are um, just feeling more confident with the connection too. You're feeling more confident with um, how things are progressing and how you're getting closer to this person. Time off is highlighted here. Definitely a few collective themes. For me, I'm just getting more so movement or travel is coming through a lot today. Travel. Going home. New home. Movement home. 
maybe some of you i mean it makes sense for the time of year especially if you celebrate the holidays you know someone could be coming home or you're going home to them someone's reaching out to you embrace tender embrace closeness yeah i love this so let me know what you think i hope you enjoyed this and i hope this does happen uh very soon for you and yeah we will see you next time three if you chose the green bulb then this is your message i'm just going to give these one extra little shuffle here because i put the cards back after every group here so but you chose the green bulb so far groups one and two have been really fun so i'm excited to see what's going to light you up over the next few weeks or even months so green let's see oh wow you have call of the muse okay so this card is all about self-expression creativity okay so this could even connect to work for a few of you but this is really great i love the image just the dancing movement creative expression confidence hmm. lots lots to go into here so we're going to shuffle out some cards here and see what this is about what is this what's exactly happening here wow okay a bunch of cards flew out okay you second group to get the eight of wands you've got page of cups queen of cups six of wands page of swords wow and your cards like popped out of the deck so there, there's definitely a lot of energy here for you so this is really exciting okay let's get some oracle cards and i was saying to groups one and two this is just sort of a, a spur of the moment reading i just felt like jumping on today so i'm trying to do that more otherwise i go weeks without posting so i'm trying not to overthink too much okay group three more about what is, what is this creative expression bringing in here Ooh, this creative expression is a catalyst for something so this this creative expression is creating movement Ex whoa oh my gosh see this is <laughs> this is when i get chills when little synchronicities and you know confirmations happen like that so we're going to read that one as well but this is really exciting group three really really exciting so we're going to get one more card here and stick around too for your charms Ooh, relaxation yeah i'm getting that from the uh, image here there's sort of like this relaxed um expression here and this is key like it's very just like with the dancer here it's very um natural natural movement relaxed it's not like it's not like stiff or um even i i almost want to say it's not like overly thought out you know it's not overly it's not it's nothing forced it's just very natural it's relaxed it's flowing so for you group three and you know see if this connects but i'm going to give you the basic theme of your reading now and we'll dive in and of course if this one doesn't feel like yours uh, feel free to go back to the beginning but i feel like i feel like you should stick around because this even if you don't think you're creative this this could be you okay because a lot of times what keeps us from creating expressing ourselves is sort of this like tense perfectionism honestly that that's sort of what I, was, what I was getting at like a lot of times i i feel like reading but i don't want to jump on because i'm like oh i don't have you know i i ha it has to be like this this long of a reading or you know we overthink sometimes and it, it sort of keeps us from expressing or enjoying ourselves and this is really what this feels like is enjoyment it's natural it's flowing okay so let's let's dive a little deeper here so it says stop your world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation so the key here with, with with whatever this is is it something that relaxes you and you can really see that here in this image you know this person looks so comfortable and at home and just and their eyes are closed and they just seem like they're just so at so at peace and comfortable so this is what this is so for you, what's going to light you up right now is exploring your creativity. 
whatever that is. One suggestion I always like to give, because this is something I like doing, I just go to Michael's sometimes and I walk through every single aisle and just see what comes up. You know, just see what comes up. You could even do something like go to a craft show if there's any coming up. Around the holidays, there's often like craft shows and things and just see what maybe inspires you. You know? So this could be you like really exploring and I'm getting the sense here you're using what you have here. So, you know, it's not like you have to go out and and, and invest in this huge hobby or anything. It's just, you know, have, have fun with it. Use what you have, get ideas, get inspiration. This is fantastic. Group three, if you are in any sort of creative field at all, because what I'm seeing for you is the natural flow of ideas. It's relaxed, it's flowing, it's, and it's happening like, it's almost like a blockage, which is a theme lately, but it's like a blockage gets removed and then this just allows everything to just flow. Page of Cups, it's an, you're open to this. I love the Page of Cups for exploring creativity too. It's very open and um, very much too, like what I was getting at with like not, not um, having that perfectionist mindset of just sort of letting something flow. For you too, for some of you, you need to embrace what's unique about you. So instead of, you know, it's great to look to others for inspiration, but put your own spin on it. So for a few of you, I think you're finding your own creativity or finding what really connects for you. And this is, this is providing so many ideas and potential and, and a way to self-express. Like I think a large theme for, for, for you is this is self-expression. And this could be leading to other opportunities as well. If you do have a creative job of, of any kind, right now seems like you're entering a time of of a lot of uh, success with this, a lot of achievement, and and not not even you're not even just like achievement of like other people, but just within yourself, like you're feeling accomplished. Oh, look how cute! Yeah, you're just feeling really accomplished here. So, what's lighting you up? Ideas, and let's get to this card because this is this is huge. And this is what I think this Page of Swords is bringing in. This is a catalyst for something. Ooh, I like the... Hmm, this is kind of an interesting Page of Swords. <laughs> Their expression, it's like... I don't know. It kind of feels like you're not letting anything stand in your way now. You're not letting like, oh, well, you know, they do it better, they do it different. Like, you're sort of finding, I think, your confidence with something or your flow. So let's read Catalyst. It says, meet Luna. She may seem a little ominous at first, but don't worry. Ooh, kind of like that page of swords. She is truly here to help us. She is a catalyst. She's a kitty form of the philosopher's stone, the magic alchemy that metaphorically turns lead into gold. She might shake things up like a crazy thunderstorm, but the sky will be so much clearer afterwards. She is, she is the maven of breakthroughs and revelations. Okay, so this, all of this creativity is a catalyst for something. And it's going to feel, I think, quite messy. You know, there's, again, I keep going back to like coloring outside of the lines and not being, not being like, it has to be this way. With relax, you're letting go of like that rigid, um, it has to look this way, color within the lines, like that kind of thing. You're very like, it's very loose, this, this energy. And if you embrace that and embrace how sort of, chaotic at times this might be it's it's starting something for you you're opening up to something entirely new here this is if you chose group three this is actually really all three groups so far have been beautiful but this this carries with it a new beginning this carries with it like leading you into something entirely new revelations breakthroughs it says when luna crosses your path you might feel a shiver but do not be afraid. That is only the first sign of a miraculous shift. So you're feeling the shift soon, if not now. And it is, it is, oh my gosh, it is the middle of the afternoon and it is dark outside. Like it is, and it looks like nighttime outside. 
Oh, I want to open up the window because I'm feeling this wind coming in. Wow, group three. Your reading just took like an energetic shift. Like it just turned magical. The wind out there. Oh my gosh, this is like magical. I'm trying to pick up on what I'm feeling right now. I can't even describe this feeling. So expression. So meet Shanti, I hope I'm pronouncing this kitty's name right, but she once kept her ideas and feelings locked away in her heart where no one could see or hear them. It felt safe and secure, but alas, she felt so alone. No one truly knew her. She was longing to come out and play. Gathering her courage, she flung open the window. I love that with the page of, or the page of cups there. She flung open the window in her mind and unlatched the doorway to her soul. She started to speak her mind and give voice to her heart. Oh my gosh, the page of cups with the page of swords, voice to your heart. You're giving voice to your heart here. She could never again fit in a small closed space of hiding. Soon her words grew into un unabashed singing. What song are you keeping captive? What song at long last can you unleash into the world? I wish I could send the energy in the air through the through to you where you are, and maybe you're feeling it too. This is magic. This is what this is. This is magic. You're giving voice to your heart. So this is all about ex ex expression, following an inner calling. I think the best advice, the best takeaway from this is to create, make, try, do, take that step, get started. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Don't wait for timing to be perfect. Do it now, get started with something. If you're feeling called to do something, just get started, just get started. It's not going to be perfect. My first YouTube video, I didn't even post. I just like awkwardly, quietly talked to myself. I was terrified, didn't post it. If it's a YouTube channel, get started. It's never too late. If it's a hobby, get started. If it's an instrument, try now. Yeah, this is magical. Let's get you some charms here. But I have chills. The magic just shift, like, oh, the magic in the air right now. I don't know how to even explain it. Okay, so have fun. You know, have fun with the letters and numbers. You've got 10, 11, 4, and 12. 10, 11, 12. Ooh. flip all of these over here. Okay, so have have fun with this for sure. Got the word I here. Okay, so you've got Y S R L P A I O E O I W N A Z U M I R F and O. So let me know what you see. Look for initials, you know. I'm seeing the word play here. Play. I like that. I play. Three, what 
what's lighting you up. Oh, you got the most charms. Lots of people coming through. You've got a Sagittarius, Capric a Capricorn, Cancer, another Capricorn, and a Leo. I've got time as I, I will. More time, more time doing what you love maybe. Wow, the weather shift is just so cool. Okay, let's take a look here at your charms. I really wanna go out there. Let me know if, where you are if this happened too. Okay. Um, Unless it's later than I'm thinking. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look here. Okay, um, not to eavesdrop, but I just heard someone outside did say thank you again, Mom. So that could connect for some of you. Um... Okay, so heads up, paying attention to something. It's wanting for you to pay attention to something. You're getting messages of direction. You're going to have to take the wheel with something. Like I'm getting a lot of like, just getting started, paying attention, keeping your eye open for opportunities here. Not holding in your ideas. Like the shell here is like you're holding in a treasure here just like your one card described you're holding in a treasure here you've got the purse here that could uh indicate um an investment into what you love so you know i did say be resourceful use what you have to get started if so youtube channel for instance i started my youtube channel with a 12 dollar tripod that was it so you you really don't need to buy like a bunch of equipment or lights to get started like Use what you have, but maybe this investment into what you want to do is into supplies or like if you want to paint, maybe go pick up your, yourself some like watercolors and, you know, a little pad of watercolor paper. Or if you want to learn tarot, go, you know, pick yourself up a deck, um, even go to the, the dollar store, get like a deck of playing cards and, you know, a few different things to play with, make your own Oracle deck. Um, like. Really, uh, I think thinking outside the box here is going to be really important, uh, but don't feel like you need to invest a huge amount of money in, in getting started with something. I would do that sometimes, like I would get something I wanted to start or I was interested in, and I tend to dive into things fully. So I would go out and be like, oh, okay, I want to learn to knit. So instead of just going to get, you know, you know, a, a ball of yarn to just sort of learn how to do it, I would I would go get like, Okay, I want like all of these colors. I'm going to make this project. I need this pattern. So just start where you are because sometimes if you if you want to get started with something, feeling like you have to invest so much time and money um and you know all of that, it can kind of keep you feeling a little bit stuck. So that's that's all I'm getting here. I'm seeing a choice coming up, a choice in direction. And what I find interesting about this charm, so you've got success, money, and then in the other direction, happiness. So what I'm getting from this specific charm is pay attention to what makes you happy. So if, especially if you're in a creative field, um, lead from that, lead from, you know, your page of cups card, your queen of cups, lead from that. There's a lot about like ideas flowing, creativity, Everyone's getting the fish today. This just to me represents being in a period of transition, sort of like the in-between. And it can sometimes, and I think in this case, represent like not being able to express yourself fully, feeling sort of trapped. So maybe that's what you're breaking through. You've got the star here, your time to shine, uh, inspiration, following your inner guidance here. A lot about confidence. Joining in, the soccer ball is making me think of join in. So not, whatever it is you want to do, there's space for you. There's, there's space for you. Join in. Join in. 
I always hear like, oh, it's too late. To, like, I'll just, I keep using the YouTube example, but when I started my channel, years before that, I used to hear, oh, it's too, it's, it's too late to start a YouTube channel. No, <laughs> there's space for you to create. There's space for you to do what you want to do. Don't, anyone tells you there's no space for you right now to create and the wind's picking up. So here we go. If anyone tells you there's no space for you or that something's not worth trying or doing, think about maybe why they're saying that and keep moving forward because there's so many opportunities available for you here so join in join in don't let the past hold you back Like the leaves are like, I hope you can hear, the leaves are like dancing on the road. Lots of dancing here with your, with your main card. Dancing, I just wanna leave that there because it's such a, a beautiful card and a beautiful message. <clears throat> Some of you think that you're too grown up to create. Okay, I'm getting this because I'm thinking of the movie Hook. I always reference that movie with this little thimble, but that makes me think of that movie. If you know that scene, then you know what I'm talking about. But um, you feel like you're too grown up to do what you like. Too grown up to express yourself. You know, <laughs> you're talking to a girl who builds forts on YouTube. And I think that's what's happening here. You know, so that's that's what's happening. That's what's happening. I love this reading. I love group three. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you have a great day and we will see you group next time. Or if you chose the red bulb, then this is your message that's going to light you up, something that might cheer you up over the next few weeks or months. So let's see what you have. You have the Wish Upon a Star card. And I have to say all, all three groups before you were really fun, so I'm excited to dive in here. But yours is very special because this connects to a wish, something you've been wishing. And I'm noticing they're holding their wish very close to their heart. So I feel like this is something maybe you haven't shared with a lot of people or it's something just very, very close and important to you. Uh, you're keeping it very close to your heart. Let's just see what fell out here. Nine of Cups. Okay, that's interesting because that's commonly thought of as the wish card okay group four let's tell me more about this wish that's coming true here okay eight of cups i did land in reverse so i'm going to take it in reverse just because i told my cards that i would <laughs> i asked for reversals so i just want to challenge myself to include them group four what is this wish? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Group four. What is this wish about here? Queen of Cups. Hmm. Cut your oracle cards too. Okay. Group four. What is going to light up group four? Illumination, that's interesting with the star. Glow is the name of this cat. Meet Glow, she shines her warm light onto dark places. She illuminates our fears and our shadows, giving us the courage to face them, to unravel them, to bring healing. Sometimes it may seem easier to take the long route around the dark forest within, but Glow knows that true ease comes from presence, not avoidance. Ooh, maybe that's why the Eight of Cups is in reversal. I'm getting something with that here. So carry her with you as you journey into the depths of your heart and soul. Let her loving light warm the places of shame, hurt, sadness, and disappointment, anger, and guilt. She can turn the darkest twisted forest into a golden cove of love. Very interesting. Here's what I think this is so far, okay? And of course, I'm going to get one more card and we can, we can dive a little deeper here. But what this feels intuitively like to me is you've had this wish, but you don't believe that you can get there. You don't believe that it's available to you, okay? 
uh, for whatever reason. Sometimes we think, you know, we, we want something, but something sort of keeps us frozen from taking those steps forward, okay? And in this case, it seems like maybe, maybe what's, oh, I know what this is. It seems like sort of what's keeping you stuck in the wishing, because this is beautiful. This wish energy is beautiful. It's beautiful to wish and dream. And, and this is really, the Nine of Cups is fantastic for just visualization and, and just kind of, uh, you know, just surrounding yourself with your wish. But it, it seems like maybe that's where it's stuck. With Eight of Cups reversed, it's almost like there's a, a blockage about actually moving towards it. And this talks about facing fears not avoiding. Like to get to this wish, it's a bit of a journey, but what I'm seeing here is that you've got this. In fact, I think you're already on the journey. You might just not know that it's already started. Because our question today was specifically, what's going to light you up? So to me, something's coming in that's helping light the way. It's removing this blockage. You might want to watch group one, okay? If you were drawn to the yellow bulb, because group one also had the eight of cups and it was sort of, uh, it feels like part of this story. Group four, group four, what is this wish? Aura, wish, oh my gosh, what's with <laughs> two wish cards. A wish motivates the heart's desire, keeping hope and faith alive. It seems like something's sort of stopping you in your tracks here with eight of with eight of cups. Because this card typically is we're setting off on a journey towards something. But it's almost like you're more comfortable, or you have been previously more comfortable with like visualization of this dream, but the idea of actually pursuing it has felt, you know. Uh, intimidating, but I don't feel like it will anymore. And I, I do feel like something is coming in to cause that shift with glow, illumination. Your way is getting illuminated. This is what this is. Your path is getting illuminated. The path towards your wish is getting illuminated. Even the light bulb theme fits in with this. Aura, okay, a healthy aura keeps your energy in balance and harmony. So um, part of this also could be what are you surrounding yourself with, okay? Uh, back in October, I was getting a lot of messages about what you were choosing to surround yourself with. Are you surrounding yourself with people that are constantly shutting down your wishes and your dreams? You might need to sort of tune them out a little bit. We can't help what people say. We can't help other people's opinions, but you might have to turn off the volume, <laughs> turn down the volume a little bit about what person someone's maybe saying. Because aura, this is all about like your energy, which are like that feeling around you, your aura, your energy. So it seems like maybe what's happening too is your aura, like something's improving, the surroundings are getting improved, and this is illuminating your way. This definitely feels like your path is getting illuminated here. So much confidence here with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is confident and very unique. I always love that about the Queen of Wands. They're creative, they're unique. I think you might have to get a little bit out of your, out of your comfort zone a little bit though. Okay, the Queen of Wands is, is very social. Uh, she's often the one you'll see at like different events and, and networking and meeting new people and putting herself out there. So I think that might be part of this too. You might have to put yourself out there a little bit because you're holding this wish so close that you're not even wanting to let it go. So it's almost like sometimes we hold on to something so tight because we're afraid to try. Because if we try, does that mean we're, we're losing this wish, right? Sometimes, sometimes by holding on to something and it's just for me, it's just my wish, it's my secret wish. You know, we might not try and then it feels like we're holding on to the wish, but we're just keeping it sort of essentially in fantasy. You're bringing this wish into reality. You're getting a good grasp of this wish is what I'm seeing. 
You're turning it into something. You're transforming it. You're creating something. So much about the winds picking up. I love the wind. Oh my gosh, the wind. I just love. But with these two queens here, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, you're bringing this. This is expression. This is the expression of your wish. The birth of your wish, essentially. You're really going to be feeling lots of feelings here. And these feelings aren't bad, right? I tend, you know, to leave my messages with a feeling of faith. That's just me. That's how I've always been in my life. But that doesn't mean we're, we're ignoring the feelings of shame, hurt, sadness, disappointment, anger, guilt. You're allowed to feel angry. You're allowed to feel hurt. Maybe a wish before didn't come true and that's leaving you feeling resentful or angry and you're not wanting to try again. Maybe you're feeling sad. Feel it. Because it feels like almost like avoidance of movement here. Feel the feelings. Whenever I say that, though, I like to mention, you know, you might want to share it with somebody or maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to feel the feelings and keep it close. I feel like you're um, a very introverted, personal person. You keep your goals to yourself. You keep your dreams to yourself, which can be very useful sometimes, but I feel like it's sort of become a little bit off balance here to where you don't want to share any of your dreams, including even trying them because trying them feels too risky, but you seem to be trying. Like what's lighting you up is an, an it's, it's like a chance to try. It's a chance to get started. I think part of what's lighting you up is meeting new people, putting yourself out there a little bit more. The key here, too, is to embrace what makes you different here as well. I love what it says here. Glow knows that true ease comes from presence, not avoidance. You're shining the light on some sort of blockage here. Group four. Knight of Wands. It seems like a, a, a brave... You're, this is courage here. Shining the light. Wow. You've got lots of wands energy here. It's talking about... Letting your loving light warm the places of shame, hurt, sadness, disappointment, anger, and guilt. Turning it into a golden cove of love. Self-love is a huge part of this too. Acceptance. You have to, you know, accept yourself. Um, genuine self-acceptance and love is magical. I'm feeling like a few of you are like stuck in shame or embarrassment. You're embarrassed of something that a lot more people can relate to than you even know. Hmm. Group four. I just want to get maybe one or two more cards and then we're going to dive into charms here. Group three or four. Sorry. Group four whole aura shift though a whole energy shift there's a shift in energy do pay attention though uh to people that are maybe maybe not intentionally but saying something that is really like affecting your your belief in yourself they might not be saying directly to you like i don't get the sense that they're saying oh you can't do this but just the general tone of maybe what they're saying is affecting your aura or balance or something because again I'm getting the sense like you're very secretive about this dream because you don't want anyone to squash it but you don't want to hold it so close that you don't make movement with it so it's just about finding that balance here so group four let's get one more card here seven of wands yeah you have to um you cannot let someone break you down here. Like in this, like this is fighting for what you want. This is fighting for what is important to you. This is having the courage. You're getting a lot about courage here. 
having the courage to fight for what you want. I love the shield here because the shield feels like you're like, okay, this message has been coming up a lot. You're shielding something to protect your aura, to protect your energy. Seven of Wands, you're fighting for something. So part of what's lighting you up is like this renewed sense of I can do this. Belief in yourself. Yes, I can do this. I can achieve my wish. You've got the word wish twice. Three times, essentially, because you've got your Nine of Cups. You've got to put yourself there, though. Start doing things that put you closer to this, even if it's just what you're changing, like what you're watching or what you're doing. There's a theme today of getting started with something, just getting started. Group three was all about just get started. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get started. I was saying how like when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't even post my first video. I couldn't even record with someone in the house. My boyfriend, I, I'm like, you have to, you have to go. <laughs> I can't like you have to like he was going to a hockey game so it was fine but I was like you have to go I can't I can't talk with someone in the house I'm embarrassed I'm so embarrassed and I was I was I there's there's a there's a total shift from when I started my channel um in my confidence so sometimes just getting started could be the thing for you to get closer to this dream uh you're definitely going to have to expand I think network putting it out there you're putting something out there. You're making an offer. You're putting it out there confidently. Wow. Oh, I have to have a sip of my hot chocolate. We're going to do some charms. But today's reading was actually a challenge for me because I loved it. I love the reading, but getting started because I've been sort of overthinking myself into exactly what this reading is talking about, non-action. I had a challenging 2021, as I'm sure many people did, and a challenging 2022 in a lot of ways. And uh, I didn't create sometimes because of it. So, you know, this is what I'm getting for you. Okay, let's get some charms. We'll get numbers. And six of these, of course, could be letter or not letters, uh, dates, like important dates, uh, lucky numbers. Some people just really like the numbers, and a lot of you are really good with uh, angel numbers. song here so music could be helpful I have a playlist of some of my favorite songs on my channel if you're interested I don't know if my taste in music is everyone's taste in music but if you if you like it maybe it'll help okay music is a huge part of magic for me huge tool okay so letters you've got two r's you've got j d e i q f z a n j p f e a v a u e i think i repeated a few but that's what you have actually let's get to your charms feeling self-love here for you self-love to me represents or means exactly that self-acceptance self-forgiveness and recognizing growth that you've made so you've got when can song and then all of these letters okay Let's take a look. You've also got love here, of course. So love. Mm. 
Okay. Got the starfish here. A lot about healing, I would say. Everyone's gotten the fish today. This is like uh, being in a period of time of like change and transition, feeling like you're not where you came from, but you're not quite where you want to be. And the wind just picked up. So the wind's talking to you right now. You've got this two star, lots of star wish. You have so much about wishes. Let's count. Wish, wish. Wish. Wish card. Wish. Wish upon a star. Two stars. You've got five symbols of wishes in your reading. So this is very, very straightforward here for you. The sun. I love the sun because this does connect to the queen of wands. The sun. Sunflowers represent the queen of wands. Confidence, individuality, this card, too, is very much like, I don't care what anyone thinks. We don't always believe ourselves when we say that, but it's, I think, like, people spend more time thinking about themselves. I saw a quote, it was like, you wouldn't worry so much about what people think of you if you realized how seldom they actually do. Meaning, judging, like, thinking, like, um, especially, uh, Social anxiety can make you think like the spotlight's always on you. Okay, you've got the you've got lots about like time here. There's a theme today of like making time, giving yourself time, creating time for something. You might have to make time to pursue this wish. Like part of this could be you need to like this eight of cups reverse partially could just be you haven't made the t like you're you're sort of like wanting to seek this out wanting to leave you know one chapter and start a new chapter but it's like oh uh, you know what next month I, I'm less busy or you know I don't have the time this month uh now's not a good time it like, like it's never really a good time <laughs> to do anything it's never really a good time to do anything it's never convenient like, I've never once felt like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect, like, I don't, I'm sure there has been, like, one or two, but as far as, like, chasing your dreams or getting something started or doing something you really want to do, you usually have to, like, carve that time out. Sorry, I'm just looking at your charms. Lots about um, feelings being, I feel like you're very in tune with your feelings about something. Wow, the wind. Lots about like healing. I just heard a bolt horn too, so I'm getting like six of, six of swords, healing, movement, change. You and group three are magical, magical. This fish bone, it's like you're holding on to something that you've been holding on for too long. You know why? Uh, when you see like cartoon images of like some, like what someone needs to throw away, there's always like a little cartoon fish bone. So that's what this makes me think of. It's like, why are you, hold why are you holding on to this? It's time to <laughs> let it go, you know? I know it's easier said than done, but it's something's like keeping you from getting started. So that's what I think is lighting you up. It's, it's with your card of illumination, especially your way is getting lit or you're lighting up something like you're staring something right in the face so that you can move through it. She can turn the darkest twisted forest into a golden cove of love. giving us the courage to eliminate our fears and our shadows, giving us the courage to face them, to unravel them, and to bring healing. Some of you are having a hard time with like compar comparisons, quite frankly. With the top hat, it's like a little bit of a feeling of comparing where you are versus where someone else is what someone else has done versus like the only person you need to be in competition with is yourself. And that's really hard to remember sometimes, but uh, it's true. 
you're getting something started. You've got two knights because you've got your knight of wands. Lots about courage. The knight of wands can sometimes be like pretty impulsive or like they, they tend to just dive right in. They follow their passion. So depending on the reading, you know, that could be a, a helpful thing. And sometimes it can maybe not be. But in this case for you, I'm feeling like it's very much a helpful thing. You also got the engagement ring as a side message that could be proposals, but it could also just mean commitment, commitment to yourself, commitment to a goal. Uh, a lot of you are sort of closer than you think to some sort of um, breakthrough or uh, like you're, you're, you've put in more work than you think in regards to your dream or your goal. This is like reminding me of, the, of your Queen of Cups too. Creation, fertility of like ideas. Wow, beautiful. Self-love too, Queen of Cups, oh my gosh, yes. So let me know what you think of this. This one was really fun, I had fun today. I did was cozy. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, we will see you very, very soon.